Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another notes page, um, I guess setup because this is going to be my second time. Um, I did do January's, so it did turn out fine, but I do, no, I did it needed to do a lot of adjustments. Like I didn't want to keep on putting dots down for each time. I wanted it to already be there like a bullet list. So I tweaked a lot for this month. So I'm going to do February's note page and I'm very, very proud of this. My Etsy owner sticker shop cap came back on and I started thinking and designing and I really love how this turned out. Here it is. This is my February note page. I do have the same the same four boxes and I have the four headers down here but I did change one I took out the appointments and put in my plan with me so I could keep track of it and I still have the media stats the weight loss and the must do so instead of actually putting down the sticker yourself I made it bullet style for each so yeah I really, really do love how this turned out. I was so happy. I was like, wow, I did a good job. So this is definitely, definitely so far, obviously only been two, my favorite. So let's go ahead and get it done. And I am doing it in my recollection coil planner. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off with the top banner and What I noticed that I should have done differently is I should have actually had it cut around it, almost like a die cut, but I didn't. So, it's okay. Just wanted to make sure that I had the measurement right again. So... Okay, so that is the top one. Ugh, it looks so gorgeous. So now I'm going to actually put the bottom one instead of waiting for the end of the video like I did last time. Oh, come on. Okay. And I'm going to put it towards... Let me bring this up more. I'm going to put it towards the last line, towards the top of that last line. I'm going across. And it's crooked. Nice. Okay, so now I'm going to put my headers and I'm going to start with the plan with me Let's see if I can bring this in I love this font so I'm gonna put it more towards this side I'm gonna skip a space these are always quick videos for me to do I like doing them and I'm going to actually move the media stats up next to it have some space in between I don't want it to be so cluttered up let's move it towards the top Oh, no. I need to bring a little bit more closer. I'm running out of room here. No, this is like right up against the coil. So I need to put it a little bit closer. Okay. 
Okay. I love these full boxes. Oh, I have the wood trim in the background. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. I really miss designing. I think I'm going to do a weekly kit to match this for February because I am in love with this design. It's so pretty. So I'm going to flip it upside down. It's easier for me to line it up. So pretty. So have you heard about the lawsuit that's going on with Aaron Condren and Michaels? Can you believe that? I'm so happy that I got this planner before all that drama started. Ugh, that's like so not called for. Does she actually think that she holds the copyright to every single planner style? I mean, there's so much you could do with just a month and their weeks. It doesn't even look like the Erin Condren, to be honest. Not at all, and I don't know. I think it's more because, I mean, I never owned an Erin Condren. Never wanted to spend that much money on a planner. So, I don't know. To me, I think that she's just being petty because all the complaints that people has been giving her about her planner, about the coil being chipped, looking like something bit it, and I don't know. I think like so many YouTubers were out there saying that they rather have purchased the recollection planner over her planner and that way they would have saved a lot more because I mean you could get this with a decent coupon for like fifteen dollars and sometimes even less if it's sixty percent off so to get like almost the same not the same but close to what an Erin Condren is for just fifteen versus her what after you customize everything to be like over a hundred or close to a hundred dollars I think that's why she was upset and she wanted to do a lawsuit because everyone was turning to Michaels to get this planner over hers I think that's well that's my opinion like I said I've never owned an Erin Condren I never wanted to because it's way too much money and I love Michaels. I'm at Michaels almost every week. And I am so happy that they have planners for people who are planning on a budget. I don't pay full price for anything anymore. So I don't know. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think this whole lawsuit is and what you really think it's about. Oh my god, this is such a quick video. Of course, everything is gone. Chuck that. I think it looks so cute. Oh my god, I'm so in love. I'm so happy that I just sat down and put on my thinking cap and say I want a real pretty one for this month. I love it. I love it. So yeah, that is it. Like I said, it's going to be a quick video. Um, I hope you like it. And again, please leave me any comments of what you really think this whole thing is all about. And if you liked how it turned out. And if you really did like how it turned out, please go ahead and hit that um, like button and that subscription button down below. And don't forget, if you do, to make sure you click on the bell next to it so that way you can get notified whenever I do have any new uploads. So, I have nothing else to say besides I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.